hello guys welcome back again to my channel good morning good afternoon good evening to you it all depends where you are watching from guys if today is your first time visiting this channel if today not the first time you see this space i beg you try me hit the subscribe button like comment and share this video and god will also bless you in whatsoever you do in jesus name amen guys we want to discuss some question do some question and answer about this uh, sanitaria sanitaria what would you hear about you understand we all the year sanitaria sanitaria in italy most of us we do, we do not live in italy and most of us we live for italy but we do not really know the really meaning of this sanitaria as with the year so guys make i explain to some it has called it to my handles what i write about this sanitaria this sanitaria in italy in english in me amnesty so we all as a, ref a refugee or migrants in italy do the year about this amnesty amnesty sanitaria san sanitaria where they talk about since december last year 2019 now we do the year but after some days this year so 2000 now uh, after some months and some days in this year so they finally they approve uh, they approve they finally approve the the decreto relance you they finally approve the sanitaria for people because of uh, the lockdown for this coronavirus uh, period so guys me i want to explain i want to call it to wait till i write a jot down for this uh, which be the meaning of sanitaria question a pattern uh, what permission uh, permission do we need as a what permission as in permits do we need to for we to participate for this sanitaria this amnesty so with the call sanitaria in italy so my effect what is sanitaria is a question everybody could say ah wait to be sanitaria wait to be sanitaria i don't understand what in you is now i want to explain for you so so you pay attention okay sanitaria say an amnesty or sanitaria an amnesty na in me or in in italy say sanitaria i did the column but in english it's an amnesty or it's an extraordinary measure to regularize on documented migrants employed in undeclared world work you see now measure will be said that they regularize amnesty with the they regularize undocumented migrants people will not get documents with the they give the permit to walk you understand to walk now that freedom now they say they want to give people now what they don't plan to give people for italy and so guys uh and this amnesty so you say it allow people with Peril relevant experience with an expired permiso permiso on or after thirty uh, first of October two thousand and nineteen. Those people say their permits don't expire since uh, last year October two thousand and nineteen. Now this set of people so now that they talk about say yeah if we take part for this sanitaria, if we take part for this amnesty to work if you get the document and to to work this is most documents to get the temporary res, uh, uh, permits in relevant sector depending on the sector where you want for work because you get sector where if you use the document they work for you understand and which they do they, they try to talk for you and three two say they make it easier for foreigners to get a valid work contract in the relevant sector they are documented or not this make it easier this is sanitaria so it make it easier for workers for that or documented uh, workers to come get document one uh, also followed by contracts go on the work contract or you know can be illegal as we they don't have before you understand we basically go they do go do illegal work we not get documents we we'll go they do illegal job Mm -hmm. Best go employers, you know, go see they pay you the full money, you go use you like Jackie, you know, go pay you way. You understand those one, this is a sanitaria now. You don't cancel that one, you go delega, you go get your documents, and they go sign you contracts. 
on top of her. He said, bring to light, Tiri, bring to light undeclared work by regularizing undocumented migrants during undeclared work. Work. Lavo, in Italy, say lavoro neuro in Italia. Now they be color for Italy. Undeclared work. Say bring to light undeclared work by regularizing or documented migrants doing or declared work. So just bring to light migrants do for them to give a, a regularized migrants a permit to work. You understand? And who can prove their employer? Who can prove that their employer is offering a valid work? Contract their employer go offer the valid work contract for this uh, uh, sanitaria. You see what permission did I need for this sanitaria? Which permission we need for this sanitaria? What do we need to get this sanitaria? This is so so mostly going to that one depending on your content current situation you may be eligible for a permiso per lavoro subordinato or a permiso tempora tempora new per recar eh, recerca lava, lavoro mm -hmm. depending on what you get depending on the situation depending on how you take the eligible depending on your current situation you may be eligible for a permiso per lavoro depending on your condition your state now depending on as you be now you feel they eligible for permiso permiso de lavoro as it to work your own position will be say not to work permiso to work now you want your own will be say na permiso temporaneo now you get understand different uh, measure and you see important this sanitaria applied to you only if you work have a job offer if only if you work or you have a job offer person one offer you job and uh, person one employ you now in this sanitaria can stay concern you now you fit they apply for this uh, sanitaria very important see important this sanitaria applies to you only if you work have a job offer or period experience in one the following sector one married number one sector agriculture farming and husbandry fishery and aquaculture aquaculture and alike could not maybe hold into this feed agriculture farming husbandry do the work like that before or you don't fair you now you the work currently or nine person one employ you from for this number one reason and two caretakers work caretakers work include care workers for the elderly or people with disability those people will be say they take care of a uh, handicap all those people will be say they know the feel they do anything and uh -huh. people will look there those people so now they see the eligible for this sanitaria now the fee apply you understand for this sanitaria tiri domestic housework all these people they do housework including housekeepers and babysitters all these people they do housework all these people they help us do picking and where they take care of people for us where they help us clean all those stuff those people now in the the third person where they say they eligible for this uh, sanitaria permiss or so understand <sighs> permiso temporaneo you say with sanitaria you may be eligible for a six months temporary permit so six months permit now they say a uh, permit b the sanitaria permit now six months now they valid for to look for a job in this in the sector we mentioned above only if you meet all the requirements listed below to look for job only when you meet this thing where I want to so your permission expired October last year and you don't renew 
or convert it to another type of permissive. We'll be saying you never renew, you never convert her. Now you did this uh, category to attain this uh, temporary six months resident permit. See, you are currently in Italy as from 8th of March this year. You don't, you don't come Italy before 8th of March this year. You, yeah, you don't get documents, you don't get anything, and you want work. You too, you too, you did eligible for this uh, permiss uh, temporary permiss of the sojourn or so. This uh, temporary permiss of where they want to give people their work, you are eligible. Then, three, you have your international, you have your national passport or an equiv equivalent travel document or an identity certificate issued by embassy of your home country in Italy. Maybe you get anything at all for hand, like your uh, passport, like your national passport in Italy, or like your uh, certificate at all. Any certificate at all will be say you get, but you don't get a document. Yeah, mm. this thing, you firstly participate for your site, city work. See, you firstly apply for this uh, permit or the, the sojourn. You don't get documents, but you get travel a uh, document you get travel certificates all those a uh, home pass home country passports you get them but you don't get italian uh, uh, documents to work you don't get italian documents you first apply for this six months uh, permission to work in italy the, uh, the fourth one four you can prove that before october 2019 you have worked in one of the relevant sector and if also you feel proof say yeah i don't work before october 2019 for any agricultural sector any sector any relevant any of this sector when i just read before if you don't feel proof say you don't work for the that the carers the for the uh, people will be say they not feel they do anything by themselves the handicaps or for agricultural husbandry you feel prove those points and uh -huh. If you collect this uh, permission, uh, permission with the one you give, and also this six months temporary permission will allow you to stay in Italy while looking for a regular job or working in one of the relevant sector agriculture, farming industry, us farm, farming, husbandry, fishery, aqu aquaculture, caretaker works and uh, work and domestic house. Work. This temporary resident permit, so if it allow you to work for this set of agriculture, farming, husbandry, fishery, aquaculture, caretaker work, caretaker work, domestic housework, now this six months permit, so fee allow you to to work. The permit is only valid in Italy. You know, if you use an SUA, you know, if you use an travel. This means that you are not allowed to exit the country. The permission on only Italy now for before they valid. You not know, use and go anywhere. You not know, use and travel out of uh, Italy. Now only there now for the purpose of work, husbandry, aquaculture, uh, agriculture, uh, uh, caretakers, care givers, work, and uh, as help. Now all those classes now they feel use this uh, permission work permit of the work this six months is temporary this six months temporary permit permit can be converted if you are able to find a valid work contract can be converted if you are able to find a valid work contract in one of the relevant sector you can convert it into a permit of the lavoro okay this is pro this is possible even before you pay your permit expire you say this is more so you feel converter mm, into a permit de lavoro another kind of document into permit de lavoro you feel converter this is possible even before this your permit expire you feel converter to working permits permit de lavoro it mean working permits you understand you see, the six months temporary permits cannot be renewed. You know, if you renew, you feel only converting into another thing, but you know, if you renew, you understand, you say cannot be renewed. This means if you cannot find a valid work contract 
in one of the relevant sectors, you lose your legal rights to stay in the country and unless you are eligible for any other permission. You understand? If you if you they give you this permit, you not feel use and work, you not feel get contracts for this uh, permit with the this permission where they give you so maybe say you not feel stay, you not get rights to stay for Italy unless maybe you still get another type of a uh, so you understand maybe you except you convert them so it's better my advice is better for you if you get them this permission may you try me you convert them before you expire for your hand may you try may you convert that permission into another type of a document into another type of permit into another type of permission so that you go feel user still stay the work more you understand you feel user still stay, stay the country you understand so how how you fit it apply now for this uh, temporary resident permit now i want to discuss with you now again so if you meet the requirement for the six months temporary permission per request uh, lavoro you need to request this type of permission at the questora if you need if you meet the requirements of this six months uh, temporary uh, permission so you must apply this in the questor and a questor you need to go request for this permission that we that we examine the documentation and decide if you meet the requirement for this permission now that those questor people now I go feel determine whether you really meet the requirement to get whether you really the eligible to get this a uh, six months uh, permission the sojourn this six months permission so where you say they want to give out. Now, Questora go feed the side. Say, please, mind that the Questora might give you an expulsion order if you apply for sanitaria, but you do not meet the requirement. This is a good reason to check with a legal expert before applying. Aspects before applying. You understand? Say, uh, San, uh, Questora. The fee give you a uh, expulsion order. The fee maybe the fee talk to you any hour. The fee is not fine now. Huh? Not be fine. You say mind please mind that questora might give you an expulsion order. Uh -huh. The fee tell you something strong if you not meet. So it's better you 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 no know, say yeah I meet up to the standard. I don't fair name the requirement as I did read down the con. As I did, uh, read the news, the con. I don't name the requirement before. If you just the enter, I beg make you make you go press the may you go back, may you go listen to the requirements. You listen to them very well so that you go know say you day eligible before you go questora. Not just carry yourself, go questora, say that they share amnesty, that they do sanitaria for people. Just know they the get the requirement, no say you day eligible before you go. Okay. So guys, you have time between 1st of June and uh, July 15, just like for any other type of permission. You will need to submit your request for a permission, the sojourn at the post. You will need to submit your request first at the post. You can apply in one of the 5,700 spots, Tello Amico of the post important between 1st of june to 10 the post will only take application in alphabetical order based on surname make sure you check the schedule before going to the post they want they do an alphabetical order name by name now they want to follow maybe a set a to maybe i set a to j go fair do ahead so make sure say you know the the position where your son name the name where your son name the class where your son name for go whether na second badge whether na first badge we you not go go there for a, a first badge and you'll be second badge maybe the feature your application through way you understand so i beg no we'll go at the right time it could no we'll know all this information so that we'll not go miss her. I bet brother or sister will they watch me. May you help me hit the subscribe button. Turn up if you like this information where they deliver to Una. So please may you turn up. 
thank you very much as you do so in jesus name uh -huh. to apply for this permission you need to pay the sum of 30 euro so you need to pay some amount of a 30 euro and uh, as an administrative fee to process the request and send envelope with the relevant documentation to questora send the money administrative fee to process the, the request money they want to process the request and for the envelope so you need to pay 30 euro flat rate now you need to pay to the to to post to take post on. the envelope you will need to include modulo par la compilation compilation modulo per la compilation compilation to request a temporary permit under the relancio decree modulo one that you can also find in the kits at the post if you are having trouble filling out this form you can use this guide available in italian english french and spanish once you submit your your request the post will issue you a receipt that is valid to legally stay in italy and work in one of the relevant sector only remember that the six months start from the moment you submit your application remember that the six months permit it starts immediately as you submit that application so it starts in case they approve you the six months start immediately you understand at the post you will also receive a letter or letter the convocation in italy you will need to show up at the questora so fingerprints yeah fingerprints you still need your fingerprints based on the appointment date in the letter you still they still need to take your fingerprints so if they approve you they will send you later say may you come questora may you come do fingerprints so all of this you could expect from them remember you need to pay the sum of 30 euro to the post so that the fitte post your request to you you understand so if you they go me you know go the post with uh, your empty hand and if you want go questora go ask for this thing make sure you don't know say you don't they you did the eligible status as in you did very eligible for this six months permit me not just go where you know the show please be sure before you go okay thank you and also lastly when i want to drop before i come out if you not still get a resident if you not get any national passport because people they ask what if i not get national passport i feel apply you see if you do not have a valid national passport or an equivalent travel document you will need to get a contract a contact you will need to get in contact with the embassy of your home country to get the certificate to prove your identity attestation you need to get this attestation and anagrafica anagrafica in italia anagrafica in italy attest this attestation you need to get uh, you need to go your uh, embassy your nigeria embassy your ghana embassy in italy you need to go there they will give you this a uh, uh, an attestation at uh, the color attestation sione in italian language so you need to go collect this thing from there so that you fit a show to them you say as you know asylum seekers are not allowed to contact their embassy so if you are an asylum seeker and are considering applying for the sanitoria please check with a lawyer who can advise you on your case and help you with the documentation note asylum seeker people with the asylum has refugee people with the seek asylum you no need to go just go this embassy you no know, you you are not uh, supposed to go to the embassy because you not follow plain con so you are not eligible you're not supposed to go to the embassy go collect this uh, attestation you know you know you have to contact your lawyer 
so your lawyer will tell you things about your case you will know whether you feel apply for this sanatorium or not you will need to contact your lawyer first before you go apply for this sanatorium if you are an asylum seeker you need to contact your lawyer first before you apply okay thank you hope you find this inform uh, information very effective to you please if you like this information i just gave to you about the sanitoria the way i explain it please just give a thumbs up like the, for the host please leave your comments in the comment section give your thumbs up for the host and put your comments in the comment section and please if you have not subscribed if you never subscribe please support this channel by hitting the subscribe button to so as to be seeing more relevant more uh, post like this more updates like this more information like this will be coming to your way thank you very much as you do so may god bless you in jesus name see you in my next video ciao god bless you ciao <laughs>